always gonna send you a truck. I'm always gonna keep it a buck. You give me that shit and I'm steady on my ways. Cause a lot of broke niggas run away, riding around town and they looking for. Yeah, we seen the tweet spot that was like, just go try on dresses. And we was like, so why not? For my face. Gotta pray to God above you, girl. You know that savage like you, and I hope that you feel the same. Trying to be the one for you, but my nickname true, and I hope that I can change. I came from Forever 21. They was having a good sale. I was surprised because usually all this stuff is expensive. So yeah, I need to get my hair done. Like ASAP. So as we are leaving the mall, so it out is done. We're done with the mall. I'm trying to find our way up. Out of here. Oh, let me stop for the copywriting. It's kind of weird to me to have to record myself and talk to a camera, but at the same time, who's not gonna look at somebody that's holding a camera and talking? So, sorry, gentlemen. Okay, see you guys when I get home. I'll stop this thing.
don't make sense when I'm trying to explain it and it don't make sense to me, but it's just an urge that I can't explain. Like, I was feeling like God can do this to me. Like, girl, come on, what? Like, that's what God can do to me. He drags me and makes me do it. Even when I be being stubborn and, um, yeah, okay, um, even when I don't want to do it, it's like I feel forced in my spirit. It's like I can be sitting down in the chair and somebody will be across the room and God will be like, go talk to that person. So this happened to me in real life, y'all. I ain't gonna go talk to them. I'm like, what's up? God is gonna make me get up and go talk to that person, and I don't know what if He made me go do that, but it's just I don't know. Like that's the only reason why I go further because of God. Because I know I have other people to inspire. People are so inspired by my process and by the things that I do that I have no choice. Like my obedience is connected to somebody else's obedience. So if I don't wake up and do what I gotta do, then somebody else might not wake up and do what they gotta do. I don't wake up and go, if I see a homeless man on the side of the street and I give him money, if I don't give him money, I'm feeling like, dang, I ain't doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I'm, I'm here on earth to be a servant and to be a helper to other people and to inspire other people. So if I'm not doing that, I feel like I'm not doing something right. So a part of me, like, while I was going through the stuck season in my business, I was like, okay, how, how can I inspire more people? How can this get bigger? How can this empire get bigger? It's not about me, it's about God. How can I get more people to believe that this man is real? Because he is real. Um, and, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. When you think about like, what situation made you realize this is your passion? Like your business. It looks like the, you know, the male and the supply of right. the bicycle. Right. Um, um, okay, so when I started doing nails when I was 13, I kind of did it out of a way to laugh. I want to make my money. I grew up, like, my mom, I grew up with a single mom. She had to work two, three, four, five jobs. I'm exaggerating, but literally two, three jobs. So I understood. I saw her hustle, and I saw how much she had to work, and I'm like, I don't want to do that. So at 13, it kind of came to me. Like, I know how to work hard. I had that work ethic because I saw it growing up. So um, I had to kind of pivot in a way, but at 13, you're, your mindset is so limited. You're not thinking big. You're just thinking, I'm going to get this money. I'm going to do these deals. Like but y'all, I have a little bit of pride. Not a little bit. I have a, I got ego. I got pride. I'm, I'm not afraid to say that. So I'm the type of person. If I'm doing something, or I'm working towards something. I gotta get it right. Like it, it gotta look right. I gotta get it right. I don't care if I gotta do it a hundred times, thirty times, fifty times, whatever the case may be. But that was my drive when I was thirteen. Just out of my own ego and pride and my own. Um, I kind of had a, a scarcity mindset of like I'm scared that I'm not gonna have it. So I'm scared I'm not gonna have money. I'm scared I'm not gonna have the resources. But now that I'm 16, um, I went through a transition. When I was about 13, 14. I'm like, man, I hate doing this because when you do something for money, you're never gonna love what you do. Like, so I pray to God. I bet God. I'm like, God. I can easily, I'm, I'm 14, I'm gonna be 15, I can go get me a job when I turn 15. Like, let me know what I got to do because I'll stop doing nails right now. So, I remember one day I was sitting in my bed and um, I was just thinking about rebranding my business and just doing this whole thing. And um, y'all may, y'all oh, are dumb. Like, I'm Johnny, on Instagram, my name is Johnny Omega, but my name is Johnny Harrison. So, I'm like, okay, for my new business name, I can take a part of my middle name and use that into my new business. And God spoke to me and gave me the acronym of Victory Evolves All Hearts. So when he gave me that acronym, I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's good. Like, you, you funny, God, because I'm going to use this. Like, this really going to be my money maker, not only my money maker, but my dream maker, because that's going to give people dreams. I'm going to be able to walk in homes, even, even full of people that's not entrepreneurs, and use that. So once God started to speak to me about my business, that's kind of how I knew that. Okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is going to be my best so that I can't inspire people. So even if I stop going down like, the day after tomorrow or uh, the day after that, I still feel like God still wants me to go around and speak to people and inspire people with my testimony because I still have it. Regardless of if I'm doing an occupation or not, I can go work at McDonald's. I'm still going to be inspiring people here. You can't go with Huh? You can't go with No, I, I'm saying, like, hypothetically, if I go work at McDonald's right now, I'm going to make sure that somebody needs my presence and feel love. They feel inspired by my story, and they feel inspired by me regardless of whatever. So that's really why I go further, like just understanding that God is speaking to me and He's constantly giving me confirmation as to I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing, and I know that people are gaining 
Let's see if it's inspiration from this. That's that's enough for me to stop that. Alright. Okay. Let's help. close the vlog I came from the event I forgot to record it coming back home because we had a little get together at the house right after and I was trying to edit but right now I'm going to go get my uncle's laptop so I can edit because my laptop isn't working so this video is going to be dropped tomorrow hope fingers crossed tomorrow I get everything done but the event was really nice um I loved the girl she was very nice she was well she didn't actually did nothing she was like you know what I'm saying like I can't get the words out but she's real nice and I like that and I like her grind and everything about her congrats to her I think she said she got like 1k in sales or something she going store her thing but I just came to close out the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for the next one.